so I have some classic casual encounter posts um, on oh, yeah. from the um, internet. So the first one is entitled "Bottom Boy Wants to Get Pregnant from Hot Aussie." I'm a Latin boy, 24 years old, height five foot five, looking for white hunk to fuck my beautiful asshole. Only white hunk, no Indian and Asian, which is racist and wrong. I think we should yeah. contact this guy and just tell him off about how fucking racist he is. Um, well, just send him a voice message saying, you are very oh. discriminatory. <laughs> I don't know why Marcus is jacking off to this. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> when you message me, don't say hi. Get, get the point straight in. Get the point in straight away first. I want to be your hot slut. I cannot host, sorry. Oh, Thank you for looking you forward. Don't worry about that. I didn't know that men could get pregnant. Arnold Schwarzenegger. What? You said you didn't know men could get pregnant. Didn't you say, Junior? Yeah, but we're talking about real life, yeah. Yeah, good point. Where men can't breed. As much as Marcus it's would like to. A, it's probably a trans man. Then. Right. Can you Pretty just up. imagine what it'd be like if a man did get pregnant? No. All I can say is, um, yeah, he goes into labour and his wife looks at him, now you know how it fucking feels! <laughs> Do you know how painful it would be to push a baby through your pee hole? I just want you to sit there and imagine that. <laughs> then your dick turns into that bloody skin crawler from Alien. <laughs> it opens wide up and then... I mean, there there are videos online of people sticking dildos into their pee hole, but like, it's a lot of practice to get to that level. Let alone a fucking baby. Yeah, and just okay, I'm ready. Go. Oh, you'd want to be a eunuch at that point. Mm. Um, then my next one that I found. Um, this guy has a really fucking weird fetish. It's entitled Piano Fetish. I'm house-sitting in one Turner for two weeks and there's a grand piano in the living room. I'm looking for a girl who would like to be eaten out whilst laying on top of the piano. I'm sure yeah. someone would do that. Well, obviously. Yeah, he plays her a beautiful tune. He'd be like... Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you know how funny that would be to watch? Like someone playing the piano whilst... Eating the girl out. That would be Yeah, epic. just be like mm, mm. <laughs> And then the, the, the climax at the end. You it, you would hope that like as it got like more intense and she was about to calm that he's like getting more intense with the piano and it's like yeah. and then it's and it's that big deep chord at the end of it. And then it sounds like an amazing piece of art to me actually. It does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so stop it for any um, symphony orchestra concert, you know? <laughs> Have, um, we should pitch that to you um, the Sydney Opera House. Yeah, like legitimately. Mm. That's like... It'll be a sellout show, for sure. Yeah, everything's about like transmedia, they call it. So like crossing between different types of media, like between film and audio and all different kinds of things. Well, so go. this is we live action porn. We can't put this on the yeah. podcast because somebody might steal our idea. No, it's okay. We put it here. So if anyone dares fucking do it, Marcus has got his axe and he's going to chop your balls off. And then Frat's going to eat them. <laughs> all right, done. No worries. Sounds good. Are you going to smear a barbecue sauce all over it? Uh, no, no, he likes to roll. The cum sauce is better. We've already been over this. Okay, balls, balls sashimi style. Yeah, yes. do it. sounds good. With a little bit of um rice around it too. Yeah, a bit of rice. A little bit of pickled yeah. ginger, some soy sauce. There you go. Yeah, tasty. Sounds a little good. bit of wasabi on the side in case, mm. which you're not going to use, but it's there for the styling. And those weird green things they put on the side. Of sushi. <laughs> now this one is quite intense. So this one is entitled "Looking for My Slave Leia." Leia is in the name, not as in Leia, as in Lay, mm. which makes it even weirder. So okay, anyway, I'm, 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 
Well, we'd hope that they're going down that path, but it's fucking long and this is going to be an insane read. But anyway, you're smart, you're articulate, you're compelling. However, you're also submissive, even if you don't openly admit it. That's not fair. I feel like you want someone who's openly submissive, even on the wedding day, where they get down on their knees and suck your cock in front of your family. But anyway, um, so much about our... wedding, for sure. Yes. So much about our intimate and personal lives gets defined in opposite directions from who we are in life every day. Submissive feelings often rest in one who holds much responsibility during the day. Um, fuck this. Wouldn't it be nice for once to turn over responsibility? Um, I'm just skimming this now. Should you submit to me, I will be uh, firm. I will push every envelope you have as far as I need in order to have you realize you are a sub, not only to me, but to your own desires. My goal is to help you get to that submissive place where this person has written and this fucking goes on and on and on like 10 times this. So what all I truly ask for is a sweet disposition, willingness and a desire to truly serve. If reading this has touched that special chord in you, Marcus, um, as well as made you heated and wet, Marcus, then I most certainly look forward to hearing from you and about you. And the actual <sighs> post is like 10 times the length of what I read out, but it's like too wrong, to, too long to read, but yeah, it'll go into the rest of the show. Just thought. Of... Imagine that's the whole show is reading one dating post thing with no reactions. <laughs> Instead of mean tweets, I'm mean personal ads. <laughs> What kind of fucking idiot would write this massive essay and think that it's going to work? Probably looking for someone that loves to read. It's um, a thousand words. I just did the oh my God. calculator. Yeah, No one's going to read something that's a thousand words. I mean, no people one read books, you fucking moron. So yes, they would. No, but you're not going to read. <laughs> no one's going to read anything that's a thousand words. Nobody reads books anymore. I don't know what you're talking I was about. Gonna, yeah. It's all on Kindles and... <laughs> but less than a thousand words. Nah, it's all like audio tapes. No one reads anymore, to be honest. Exactly. There are well, people that read more than a thousand, thousand word words. Essay. If yeah, you, what about if, teachers? Basically asking, a thou, saying in a thousand words that they want someone to stop them around stupid when they're having sex. Basically. Why don't they just bring it down to say a few simple words? <laughs> yeah. Fuck me, spank me, lick me, beat me, do whatever the fuck you want. No, no, no. They're the ones who are going to do that. So basically what they're saying is that you will submit to me and I will do whatever the fuck that I want to you. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, so you could just say looking for a sub. That's Basically. Yep. Looking for a sub. Just yeah, to summarize the whole post. Yeah. Four words. Oh, yeah, four words. I think I think that talk's got him excited. He's <laughs> <laughs> looking for a sub. <laughs> it's like he's getting hey, his wilding post. 